Hi, 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 hello friends. Welcome to T Academy. Let's continue the TNEB electrical, sorry, electronics paper, A question paper. Now in this question, we will start the question number from 71. In my previous videos, we will discuss the questions number up to 70. So let's continue the question. So from 71 here, okay. The start question is here. A two D flip flops are connected as a synchronous counter that goes through the following QB QA sequence 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. The combination of the inputs DA and DBR. So here in the given question is a D flip flop is there. So for that delay flip flop, the output will be QA and QB. Okay. And they given a sequence that is a synchronous counter sequence they given. And we need to find out what will be the uh, value of d and db here so actually in the given question the the printing mistake is there so that is they need to give a bar here okay so exact answer will be so db will be equal to qb bar here okay and da will be equal to qa bar qb bar so this will be the correct answer for this question it is a previous year gate question but while printing the question paper, they made a mistake here. So that's the reason why the question will carry equal marks to all the persons, right? So the exact answer will be QA bar into QB bar plus QA QB. That's a DA value and DB will be QB bar. So that is an answer for the question here. Now let's move to the question here. If the differential voltage gain and the common mode voltage gain of a differential amplifier are 20 are 48 dB and 2 dB respectively, the common mode rejection ratio. So I uh, will tell again, the differential amplifier voltage gain and the common mode voltage gain of a differential amplifier are 48 dB and 2 dB respectively, the common mode rejection ratio. So the basic formula for a CMRR is common mode rejection ratio is differential gain by common gain here. So but they are asking in dB, so CMRR R in db is equal to right so ad value in db minus ac value in db okay so that is differential voltage gain is what 48 okay and uh, common uh, gain is 2 so answer will be 46 db answer is 46 db right next one Okay, 73rd question here. The characteristics impedance of a waveguide with the cross sectional dimensions 5 cm and 4 cm and the cut cutoff frequency to the frequency of operation ratio equal to 0.6, assuming the dielectric constant to be 9. Okay, in the given problem here, so we need to find the value of okay characteristic impedance here. So Zc. So Zc is equal to the basic formula right here. That is the intrinsic impedance ratio eta divided by square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square so this is a basic formula here this value fc by f is nothing but 0.6 the given no, no we need to find the value of eta here so what is eta so eta is nothing but 377 divided by square root of epsilon r so what is epsilon r is 9 here that is 377 divided by square root of 9 means it's going to be 3 here. Okay. Now we'll substitute all the values together here. That is 377 divided by 3 divided by square root of 1 minus 0 0.6 whole square. So once we solve this equation, we'll get around 157 ohms. Okay. Uh, but in options, the nearest value will be. 200 ohms okay this will be approximate nearest value okay nearest value will be 200 ohms right next one that is a 74 question when the incident angle of a light ray is greater than the reflected angle the condition is called the condition is called the total internal reflection the total internal Reflection okay, not refraction is a reflection answer will be a here Next one That is the 75th question here The cutoff frequency of an LC 
low pass filter is so lc low pass filter is 1 by pi square root of lc so fc okay cutoff frequency means fl will be 1 by pi into square root of lc value next one the hemt used in microwave circuit is what is hemt high electron mobility transfer okay circuit is in options are source high power amplifier low power amplifier detector so answer will be low power amplifier next one maxwell's equations of electromagnetics are not applicable to okay that is isotropic media non homogeneous medium moving with respect to the system of coordinates non linear media so answer will be the maxwell's equations of electromagnetics are not applicable to medium moving with respect to the system coordinates next one in the reflex cluston the velocity modulation occurs near the reflector occurs in the resonator gap occurs near the accelerating grip do not occur at all okay so answer for this question is occurs in the resonator gap next question if an antenna draws 12 amperes current and the radiates 4 kilowatts then what will be the its radiation resistance so radiation resistance is nothing but radiation resistance rr is equal to so it is a p okay so power radiation divided by amperes or antenna current square here that is nothing but so pr is nothing but 4 kilowatts means i will write into 1000 divided by 12 into 12 okay so if you solve this you may get the answer it as a 27.77 ohms 27.77 ohms so this is a basic just formula like a, a relationship between the current and transistor and power so p is equal to i square into r okay power dissipation formula here next one the electric potential field is produced by Point charge 1 micro coulomb and 4 micro coulomb located at minus 2, 1, 5 and 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, minus 1 respectively. The energy stored in the field is so energy stored in the field is for noise. E is nothing but energy stored in the field is equal to it is 9 into 10 power 9 into Q1 Q2 divided by R. Okay, so here the important thing is we need to find the value of R here. So, what is the value of R? Let it be x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. So r value will be square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. So this is the square value, right? Now substitute the value of here. r is equal to square root of x2 value is 1 minus of minus means plus 2 square plus y2 is 3 minus of 1 whole square plus z2 means minus 1 minus 5 whole square so once you solve this you will get the value of r value as 7 okay substitute the value of r is equal to 7 in this equation here that is equal to 9 into 10 power 9 into q1 value is what 1 into 10 power minus 6 into 4 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 7 okay so simply it's nothing but 36 by 7 milli joules answer will be right so that will be equal to what okay 5.14 milli joules here next one <coughs> which among the following is also regarded as twin lead transmission line okay the options are open wire second one is underground cable third one is coaxial cable and fourth one is waveguide so answer will be for, for this question will be it is a open wire next question the asymmetrical two port network have so asymmetrical two port network means the open circuit impedance at the terminal one should not be equal to open circuit impedance at the terminal two okay that is z11 z11 is equal to so z12 in case of symmetrical network but in case of asymmetrical network it should not be equal here okay right 
So option for this question is open circuit impedance at the port 1 should not be equal to open circuit impedance at the port 2 and short circuit impedance at the port 1 should not be equal to short circuit impedance at the port 2 in a 2 port network. So answer will be 4 here. Next one, which one of the following is transferred electron device? Okay, so for this the option is uh, answer is gun diode. So remaining three are the bread diode, impact diode and tripod diode. So these all are the avalanche transient time devices. Okay, avalanche transient time device. Next one. Okay, here I forgot the question number 81. We we'll discuss it. 81 is for a hollow wave guide, the axial current must necessarily okay must necessarily be a displacement current here next one 85th question here aim of the ionization layer that exists during the daytime and usually vanishes at the night time due to highest recombination rate so that region is called d region so answer will be two option two is the right answer here okay so for the theory questions i will just give the explanation but for problematic questions i will give the uh, step by step procedure okay Next one, the question number 86, which type of the wave guide, uh, sorry, which type of ground wave travel over the edge surface by acquiring the direct path through the air from the transmitting to the receiver end. Okay, so it is a space wave here. Next one, question number 90, you will see. The transmission bandwidth of an amplitude AM, okay, AM signal is, so it is twice the signal bandwidth the transmission bandwidth of the of an am signal is is going to be twice uh, twice that of the signal bandwidth here next one we will see the 91st question here for a discrete memory less source containing k symbols the upper bound for the entropy is the upper bound for the entropy is log base 2k option 2 is the right answer next one what would be the standing wave ratio swr for a line with the reflection coefficient of 0 0.49 okay so we'll write the swrc important question so one plus reflection coefficient divided by one minus reflection coefficient so this will be 0 0.49 here that is 1.49 divided by 1 minus 0 0.49 so 149 divided by 51 so approximately you see three times so answer will be 2.921 will be the right answer Next one, the number of levels required to represent a 6-bit quantized output is, so it is level of requires is nothing but 2 power n, so it is nothing but 2 power 6 here, so it is nothing but 64 bits, so option 2 will be the right answer. Next, line of sight propagation is done by MEO satellites, GEO satellites, LEO satellites and uh, GEO stationary satellites here. The answer is option 2, that is geo satellites. Next one, the standard reference antenna for the directive gain is, okay. So options are infestmental dipole, isotropic antenna, elementary doublet, half wave dipole. So answer is isotropic antenna. Next we see the question here. That's question number 93 here. The model dispersion in a fiber is 20 nanoseconds per kilometer what will be the overall pulse spread in 10 kilometers long fiber assuming material dispersion is to be zero okay so here what they given is uh, they given a uh, model dispersion in the fiber cable is 20 nanoseconds 20 nanoseconds per kilometer and they given for a long of 10 kilometers so simply kilometers kilometers will gone so answer will be 200 nanoseconds answer is Three here. Next question. There is a ninety fourth question here. The type of access used in GSM technology is options are FDMA, TDMA, and FDMA or TDMA, CDMA. So answer will be three. Okay. Ninety eighth question here. The advantage of DSB over SSB full carrier aim is okay uh, options are less available channel space more stable transmitter gives better operation more power to the transmit same signal signal is a less resident uh, resident to the noise so option is a three is a right answer next one the 
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी फाइव द मॉडलेशन यूज इन द वीडियो ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ ए कमर्शियल टीवी ट्रांसमिशन इज सो इट इज विस्टिजियल साइड बैंड मॉडलेशन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी नाइन डिस्कस ऑल सी डी एम ए बेस्ड टेक्नोलॉजी टू जी एंड थ्री जी हैव सो टू जी एंड थ्री जी हैव सॉफ्ट हैंड ओवर नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्टी सिक्स विल सी विच लेयर इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन टी सी पी और आई पी मॉडल तो ऑप्शन आर एप्लीकेशन लेयर प्रेजेंटेशन लेयर इंटरनेट लेयर एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर सो ऑप्शन इज presentation layer 2 is the right answer next one question number 100 will see what polarization is employed in an am broadcasting so options are horizontal parallel transverse vertical option is vertical here okay next what is the sampling rate of a signal when it is amplified at every 0.01 seconds okay so here t is equal to 1 by Okay, sampling rate. I can write sampling rate. Okay, so I can say sampling rate is is equal to one by t. How much time? One by zero point zero zero one second means. Okay, so that's equal to thousand samples per second. So answer will be four is the right answer for this question. And uh, let's move to the next uh, question and last question for this uh, session here. Which optical detector is used when high sensitivity and bandwidth are required? So, which optical detector is used when we require high sensitivity and bandwidth required here? So, answer is a PMT. So, PMT stands for photo multiplied tubes. Okay. So that's it for this session. We'll continue the remaining questions in the upcoming sessions. Thank you, friends. Have a nice day.